we are going to discuss another very important feature of Scala that is a variable type inference. So, while defining variable, we may not mention the data type of the variable explicitly. When we shall assign a one value during the initialization to that variable, then depending upon the value, the variable data type will be decided. So, let us go for one practical demonstration to show you how this variable type inference feature can be implemented in our Scala programming. Scala is having a very intelligent mechanism that is a type inference. Now, what is a type inference? So, let me show you with some examples here. So, I am defining bar radius 1 double equal to 10.0. So, here we have defined this bar radius 1 of the type double and it has been initialized with the value 10.0. But if I write the same using here also you can find that this radius 2 has been defined with the data type double and initialized with the value 10.0. Here we did not mention the data type explicitly, but here we mention the data type explicitly here. Because here you see here we are having the value 10.0. So, from this particular initialization value this particular type inference has made this radius 2 of the type double here. So, now let me go for other declarations. So, as here the value is 20 has been passed. So, you can find that this radius 4 has been defined of the type int here. So, this is our type inference. This type inference is very interesting and very intelligent feature and mechanism in our Scala. So, but if we do some something which is not compatible, you can find this example here. So, it is not possible because here we have defined this uh, radius 5 of the type int. So, it cannot hold the value. 20.0 here. We know that in case of Scala, integer data occupies 4 bytes in the computer's memory. That means, here it occupies 32 bits in the computer's memory and in case of a double, the respective variable of the type double will occupy 8 bytes in the computer's memory that is 64 bits. We know that variables are nothing but storage units which will, which will hold some value in the computer's primary memory against the variable name. So, here you can find that it is when we are assigning this 20.0 uh, to a variable radius 5 defined as int. So, then the type mismatch is taking place. So, let me go for another example. So, here also the error has come because this 30.0 is of the type string. So, that cannot be assigned to the radius 6. It is of the type double here. We know that variables can be defined in two different ways. One is the statically typed and another one is the dynamically typed. So, this Kala, Java, they support the statically typed variable. That means, the variable's data type will be known during the compilation time. But if you consider the languages like your JavaScript or Python, there this variable data types can be changed during the fly, during the execution of the code and during the runtime of the code. That means, the depending upon the value which will be assigned to the variable, the respective data type will be changed, will be decided accordingly. So, there are two types of variables are possible in different languages. One of them will be suitable for each and every language. So, in case of Java and in case of Scala, we go for statically typed uh, variables. But in case of your JavaScript and Python, we usually go for this dynamically typed variable. There are other differences are there. In case of in case of statically typed variable, that means in case of Scala, the bugs can be easily be detected because during the assignment, if you find that this assignment is not commensurating with the data type, then obviously during the compilation, the bugs can easily be de detected. But in case of dynamically typed variable, the bugs may creep into my execution, into our execution, application execution. And another point is that 
it in case of statically typed variable it requires more verbose but in case of uh, dynamically typed variable we may require write to lesser code but we are going to write a nasty and dirty code in that case so obviously there are some differences between these two type of variable declarations in different high level languages thanks for watching this video